any of you ever participated in pageants or or beauty contests, or you like watching the Miss Universe and Miss USA, well, they were doing all this back in biblical days, and this is what the book of Esther is talking about. So from that, you know, what I want to share in the book is it's okay for us to get all dolled up, paint our nails, go get pedicures, get our hair done, and all the time that we spend to look good. That's a good thing. It's a great thing. Because self-image is very important. Whether you like it or not, people judge you on how you look on the outside. If your clothes are too tight or too short or too loose or too this, people judge you. You know, if your hair is not in place or, you know, you're not matching, what do y'all do? You check, right? That's just, it, it is what it is. So it's a, it's a great thing, especially as women of God, we're, we're examples. So it's a good thing to look pulled together. But Esther knew what her purpose was. Her goal for becoming queen was not to say, hey, I'm queen. Look at me. Or you do this or you do that. Or, you know, boss the people around or just to have that title just for the heck of it. She wanted to save her people. So if that's interesting to you, I encourage you to read the book of Esther so you can see how it goes. And, you know, there are so many different versions to the Bible. So if you have a problem reading King James, you know, you can read the message version or the amplified version, whatever you need, or the new international version. So you can, you know, it can flow as a story. But definitely, if that if that jumps out to you, read it. And one of my favorite verses from the book of Esther, Esther 4, chapter 4, verse 14, it says, um, who knows that you have been called to a royal position for such a time as this? Because she got real nervous at one point. She was just like, I can't do this. And, you know, her advisor, her family member, the, you know, people that was holding her accountable was like, you have to do this. If you don't do this, our people will perish. And he was like, who knows that you were selected to be queen for such a time as this. And so um, that's the whole thing with the crown over there. You all are queens, you know. If you've ever been in a situation where you've... Um, had a, a, a broken relationship or a friendship or something happened and you were so hurt and so disappointed, you know, and that threw you off your game, but you eventually bounced back and maybe somebody said, girl, I can't believe you bounced back from that. I can't believe you smiling after that happened. Has anything ever happened like that to you that you may be even surprised yourself, like, I'm over that. I'm not even dealing with that. Well, that's because you have a queen within you. You all have a purpose every morning that you wake up, every time your eyes pop open. You have a purpose. There's something for you to do. You are assigned to someone, and there's someone assigned to you. So remember that you are queens. A queen, if you had a crown on your head, how would you hold your head? Show me how you would have your head. You would, you would be sitting on your throne like your head this, not, right? That's right. Sit up, girl. You would be sitting on your throne like this, like, right? Like this. If you allow disappointments in life to get you down and you start tilting your head, what's going to happen to your crown? It's going to fall. It's going to fall. So don't ever let anybody or anything cause you to drop your head to the point where you forget what your purpose is. You forget what you're supposed to be doing in life. You forget who you are and what, whose you are. Don't ever forget that. Always keep your invisible crown on. You don't have to do what you see other people doing. Why? Because you're a queen. Say, there's a queen in me. Say that. There's a queen in me. I don't do that. There's a queen in me. I don't do that. I don't say that. I don't talk like that. I don't walk like that. I don't drink. There's a queen in me. That's it. If your friends, why don't you, how come you don't want to do this? Because I'm a queen. I don't do that. You know, I'm serious. You are. You are a royalty. Okay? So stay focused on your goals. Stay focused on your assignment. There is something that you were created to do, and every day you wake up, you're supposed to get one step closer to that goal. If you're in what grade are you are in eighth, ninth, eleventh, twelfth, tenth, tenth. If you're in the tenth grade, really everybody in high school, you should be thinking about what you're going to do after you get out of high school. Whether that's pick up a trade, whether that's go to college, you should always be thinking about your next step. Study queens. That's what a queen. A queen is always planning her next step. What she's going to do, who she's going to help, how she's going to protect her kingdom how she's going to have her kingdom run. So you have a kingdom, your future, what you're supposed to be doing. So don't ever lose sight of that. If you do, 
if you start getting distracted by little boys and you turn your head to the degree that you're looking that hard and you that focused and you crying at night over this little boy, you've lost focus. He should be coming to you because your queen is sitting up with your crown on. So he comes to you and he seeks you out and then you decide. Amen. And I love it. You know, you consult with your other queens. Come Amen. On, girls. Let's talk about this. What do you think of this? Because if he's not a king, if he's not a king, if he's not walking with his head held high, he's not the one. And it's Amen. okay. All right. And it's okay. Y'all listening? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> he, comes to you. he comes to you. He's supposed to seek you out. He's supposed to be bold enough to say he's king enough to seek you all out as, as queens. Okay? So please keep that in mind. So we're going to look at this um, this worksheet. Mm -hmm. And Miss Cendrica, keep me posted on how much time I have so I don't go over time. So I can really get into this. Okay, we have about uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. So you have a pen. Who doesn't have a pen? We have a few up here. Then we're going to just scan them. We'll get you something to write. <laughs> do you have any extra pens? I do. Does anyone have an extra pen? I think I have some in a closet if they have it. Here, help. Okay. Oh, you're going to look. Who? This girl, she can keep oh. <laughs> She's the queen. Okay, so I know as much as um, we're going to do some, some exercises here about inner beauty as well as outer beauty. Because I know at the end of the day, you all want to know about setting goals and all this stuff, but I know you also like makeup or you like looking good or maybe you don't know about makeup or you don't know like what to do and how to do it, what's appropriate, all that good stuff. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. So the first thing I want you to do is write down how would you describe yourself in three, try to do at least three different, three different words to describe yourself. Let's repeat the Glamour Girl affirmation that's down at the bottom. And I'll say it first, just so you can find me on the paper. I am a Glamour Girl, and I am beautiful inside and out. And say that together. I, I am, am a Glamour, Glamour Girl, girl and, and I am beautiful, beautiful inside, inside and out. And out. So when you're having a rough day, somebody talk about you or catch you on an off day or whatever, and they're trying to hurt you, you remember that within yourself. I am a glamour girl, and I am beautiful inside and out. And you just keep telling yourself that until you bounce back from whatever hurt or whatever. Because Satan works through people. Y'all do know that. Amen. It can be family. It can be your best friend. It can be somebody real close to you that will hurt you. And it's not them, really. It's just that evil spirit in that moment. And they may say something to you that'll hurt you. It could be a mom. It could be a dad. It could be an uncle. It could be somebody so close to you or a teacher that's being sarcastic that day that says something to hurt you. And you just have to shake it off. You know, shake that thing off and keep it moving. Because remember, we don't want to drop our crowns. We want to keep our head up. Okay. With makeup, if you are at the age where you're make, wearing makeup or you want to wear makeup and you want to understand how all this works, the most important thing is cleansing, toning, and moisturizing your skin. 